The National Bureau of Statistics is set to rebase the economy. And this stakeholder engagement is a second in its conversation on the need to rebase or benchmark the country's gross domestic product and the consumer price index. While the gross domestic product is the market value of all officially recognized final goods and services produced within a country in a given period, rebasing is a process of replacing the old base year price structure in compiling volume measures of GDP with a new base year usually every five years as recommended by the United Nations. The Finance Secretary, Minister of Budget and Economic Planning. Addressing a cross-section of the stakeholders, the NBA's boss emphasized that the engagement is part of a broader strategy to ensure that the methodologies employed in the exercise are tailored to Nigeria's unique context. The process of rebasing the nation's consumer price index and gross domestic product entails updating the base year and adjusting the weights used in the computation of both the consumer price index and gross domestic product estimates. Why the Nigeria Living Standards Survey captures information on household consumption and welfare conditions. We have seen a lot of activities going on in the digital space and the essence of the basin is to be able to capture that new trend in the way and manner in which we transact uh, in Nigeria. Not only that, the the basin will also afford us to be able to capture enough data for new sectors or new ministries that are established by this present government. The NBA says the re exercise has become necessary following the outcome of its recently conducted Nigerian Living Standards Survey. Espat highlighted the impact of the exercise on the economy. Today, uh, more as a result of the um, Naira devaluation, the size of the economy has dropped to uh, you know, the fourth position, but I'm pretty sure by the time this rebasing is done, you will realize that the economy is actually larger than you know, um, is popularly thought to, or is concurrently being reported. Uh, and that's because of the number of activities you know, that, are, are, you know, that have emerged. Responding to questions on the timelines of the release of the new rebased GDP figure, the NBS board says the new data is expected to be out in November 2024. The timeline for the, the, the basin is we are looking at second week in November, uh, all things being called this year. So by the grace of God, the results will be out by second week in November so that government can be able to use it in the budget planning and then also the um, uh, mid-term uh, expenditure framework, MTF. Nigeria last rebased its economy in 2014 from $270 billion to $500 billion, making the country the biggest economy on the continent. Experts say after almost a decade, Nigeria could become the next biggest investment hub for the rest of the world. Frank Omalape, Arise News. Right, let's bring in uh, Dr. Ayo Anthony, who is the head of prices uh, statistics at the National Bureau of Statistics for more on this uh, development. Thank you for joining us on Newsnight. Thank you. I'm uh, glad to be here. Yeah, it, it's quite interesting to note uh, that in 10 years, uh, Nigeria's economy has not been rebased. Uh, the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics has been giving us figures, whether so it's inflation, uh, you know, food inflation and all kinds of figures on employment and what have you over the years. And, you know, it, is it safe to say the figures you've been giving us may not uh, have really been on the mark, not totally reflective of the true situation? Okay. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. When you talk of rebasing of consumer price index, uh -huh. Rebasing of gross domestic product, that does not mean the bureau's figures are not reflecting true reality. Okay. It's all about the methodology. Uh -huh. Specifically, consumer price index rebasing is all about bringing the price reference period and the weight reference period closer to reality, closer to the current period. Okay. Now, in the process of doing this, you are comparing prices of items, for example, presently, with more recent period. Okay. But before now, our price reference period 
is 2009. And ideally, rebasing ought to be done five, five years. Right. But because of some constraint, the Bureau had not been able to carry out this. Why? Why? I'd like to know what Now, rebasing is a very huge project. It involves collecting data of household expenditure across all the 37 states of the Federation. Mm -hmm. Not only that, after that is conducted, we need to conduct another survey of what we call rare items. Rare. Rare items. Okay. Because not all Rare household, as in R -A -R -E. like the R A R A. -E. Okay. Which you call durable goods, like cars, ah. refrigerators. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know all these items I mentioned now, they are not items that are being bought regularly. Mm -hmm. And the people in the lower structure don't always buy this. So um mm -hmm. they should be part of the items in our CPI basket. Okay. Then apart from that. After the data is collected, we need to analyze. So in the nutshell, the cost of rebasing CPI is very huge. Absolutely. That is why. And we're, we're told, I mean, based on that report, that you're going to uh, you'll publish this uh, new uh, rebasing by November. That, yes. Does that mean that you have all, all the tools that you require yeah. you know, to come up with this uh, rebasing of the economy? Yeah, thank you very much. Every survey that needs to be carried out for the basing of consumer price index mm. have been conducted. Okay. The household expenditure survey mm -hmm. has been conducted, also known as Nigeria Living Standard Survey. It is through this survey we get expenditures of people living in Nigeria. I'm not saying Nigerians now, because people CPI living, okay. is, a, is a domestic concept, not a national concept. Right. So expenditures of people living in Nigeria have been captured via the Nigeria Living Standard Survey. Also, the survey of real item also have been conducted. Mm -hmm. So with this survey now, we know what we call household expenditure pattern. When I say household expenditure pattern, the relative expenditure of household on items. Right. I know you want us to wait till November, but can we get a peep into your uh, survey, what you've discovered uh, so far, especially with the rare okay. and, yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as the Sashayira said, the result will be out by November. Mm -hmm. But what I can tell you is that based on the weight we have captured now, the weight we have captured now is totally different from 2009 weights. Okay. This is expected. Consumption mm -hmm. pattern is not, it's not static. It's dynamic. Mm -hmm. In 2009, there are some items that were invoked that are no longer expended on presently mm -hmm. because of changing consumption pattern, changing habit, Changing taste, changing income. That's what we call income and price substitution effect. As prices change, mm -hmm. household in the cost of maximizing their satisfaction, they substitute. Right. So that you can get the maximum satisfaction. Whatever they substitute their preference to mm -hmm. is what they'll be buying. Like when you substitute tomatoes for stew, ordinarily, to watermelon, we've heard all kinds of things that people are using. Okay. Definitely. Just to... So many that new items have come into our consumer price in this basket. basket which were not there before. So our basket now is robust. It contains items that average Nigerians are expending their limited resources on. Hmm. So that will make our current, the inflation rate we'll be releasing now to reflect the prices of almost all the goods and services. Is it likely to show higher inflationary trends or lower based on the overall you know, economic situation right now? Thank you. There are two variables that determine the, the impact of rebasing on inflation rates. Uh -huh. Number one, the relative prices. Number two, the weight, mm -hmm. which is just like multiplier. The weight and the relative price. We have Rel known the relative, weight now. Relative, relative when to I say relative price, now current mind. price of uh -huh. phone, right. Samsung phone, compared to the price in the base year. Uh -huh. Now, in this environment we are in Nigeria now, where prices are moving at alarming rates, the relative price may be somehow high. Right. Am I communicating? Mm -hmm. But the weight as well is high. So, I don't want to preempt. Mm -hmm. the, the final result of inflation rate after rebasing is a function of two variables. As I've said, the weight and the relative price. I don't know the relative price we are going to get in November. 
That's but I've known the weight. In another two, in another two, two months. months. Yeah. We don't know how the inflationary pressure will be. Mm -hmm. Because the inflationary if, pressure determines the relative price. If the inflation figures continue to dip, would we see an improvement in some of the you know, projections that you'll be making in November? Thank you. The current inflation deepening yeah. is based on the 2009 price reference period. Ah. Immediately we launch another CPI, right. we discard that totally. totally. We will link the current to this one. We have another index totally. So immediately mm -hmm. we release another CPI with 2024 three month price reference period mm -hmm. with GTC, the 2009 price reference period. Very quickly, just so it's even clearer, exactly what are the parameters that you use or deploy in you know, coming up with points to say A, B, C, D, E will determine what we come up with. I hope you understand my question. What are the parameters in coming up with this rebasing that you, you will do in November? Okay. Rebasing, as I've said, involves two major things. Yeah. The base year mm -hmm. and the weight. Right. And the weight is captured through what we call household expenditure survey. The base year now, in this the case, The base year be... now is three-month average. June, July, August. Right. Compare to mm. the current months we are going to launch. Does it indicate growth vis-a-vis -vis development? Inflation and growth are not the same thing. Growth is all about output. Inflation is about price movement. Mm. But theoretically, there is relation between inflation and growth. If inflation is on the high side, it may impact growth. Mm. Definitely. But at times, there are some moderate inflation that also trigger growth positively. But if the inflation is becoming hyper, it deter growth rate. Mm. That is another thing. Okay, because I'm wondering whether, you know, when you do the rebasing, uh, finally, uh, will it show us whether Nigeria's economy, okay. or Nigeria is developing as a nation? Now, that's good. That right. is what we call GDP rebasing. Uh -huh. When I say GDP rebasing, mm. our current gross domestic product as 2010 as a base. Huh. Meaning that economic activities mm. from 2010 till now have been excluded, new economic activities. Now, rebasing of GDP involves bringing new economic activities right. in on board. So okay. with this new economic activity, like, like informal sectors now, mm -hmm. have been adequately captured in the current GDP rebasing. So we may likely see an upward movement in the average output level in Nigeria compared okay. to other countries. Okay, I hope uh, we have a better understanding of mm -hmm. these issues Thank you. Uh, than when we started the conversation. Uh, Dr. Ayo Andrew Anthony, Head Prices Statistics, National Bureau of Statistics. Thank you very much Thank for joining for us on Newsnight.